Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is I am Gary K, and this is my video response to Dino's 100 plus subs contest. Also, you may know him as Adam Adore, and he's got a great channel going. He just hit the, or just is well past now the 100 subscriber milestone, and he's having a little contest that he's calling the Rimfire Roundup. So obviously, he wants to see and hear about your collection of 22s. And also he'd like to hear uh, a little story about how you got involved with YouTube, who inspired you, if there was one person that, uh, you know, you saw their channel and said, oh, I can do that too, something like that. So, first off, just want to say congratulations to uh, Dino. Uh, I guess we've recently both subscribed to each other's channels, and you got a lot of great videos already. Uh, gear, gear videos, camping videos, uh, videos with you at the range. I think there's a video of you as Santa Claus. I don't think many of us have videos of us as Santa Claus out there, so you might be one of the uh, one of the only gun channels that has that. But that's uh, that's great. And so just keep up the good work, and your channel's just going to keep growing. Now for the contest, he wants to see your 22s. Well, here are my 22s. Two of these I inherited from my father, and two of these I purchased myself. The Marlin 39A and the Smith & Wesson K-22 were my father's and I have documentation that uh, shows he purchased these back both around the same time, 1953 and uh, in fact this was the gun I've had in some other videos some of my first videos I talk about this was the gun that he uh, taught me to shoot with and of course these are never going anywhere they're going to stay in the family as long as I I'm around I don't have any children but if that ever happens I hope hopefully they'll enjoy the shooting sports as well and they will want to keep these uh, in the family. But those two guns, again, I learned to shoot with this uh, uh, Smith & Wesson 22. Great, great shooter. Still is. Love this gun. Love the, you can't, I mean, you can't go wrong with a lever gun, let alone a Marlin 39A. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, about the most classic 22 rifle, uh, especially lever gun out there. So those two are just great, great guns. And then, <coughs> excuse me, the oldest gun on the table is this Colt uh, Woodsman. I bought this on consignment. It dates back to 1935, and I have taken it out shooting. It's a great shooter, uh, and I love this gun. Uh, it's a little expensive tracking down some extra magazines for it, but uh, you know, just a just a classic classic gun. I wish Colt was still making these because they are they're really nice. And then, uh, to be a little bit more modern and uh, a little bit more reliability, I was hoping, uh, not, that that, not that the Colt is giving me any trouble, but uh, I wanted to do the Steel Challenge uh, with a friend of mine, Gunwild1, some of you might know him, so I wanted to pick up something a little bit more modern uh, that I put some wear and tear through, and so I picked up this Ruger 2245, and a lot of you guys have Rugers like this or similar, the Hunter models or the Target models. Uh, they're just great guns. Uh, they're only they're the only kind of downside that people talk about is they're a little little tough uh, breaking apart and cleaning and putting back together. But once you know how to do it, it's pretty straightforward and simple. But other than that, they're great. So all of these great shooters. Love the rifle, of course. That's uh, one of my favorite 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 guns. And uh, and so those are my 22s. Now as for how I got started. Uh, doing YouTube, uh, one of the other guns that I inherited from my father was a is a Winchester Model 94 3030, uh, again a lever gun, obviously, and uh, hadn't been shot for a long, long time. And I was just trying to track down some information on breaking it apart, and uh, or or what you know if I could do it here, or it, you know, it really needed a gunsmith to really go through it. And so I put in like cowboy guns and Winchester. Uh, into the YouTube search and of course who did you come up with but Hickok 45 so I started watching some of his videos and uh, when he talked he talked about some other people or I saw comments from other people so I'd click on their links and uh, just sort of went from there checking out all kinds of different channels and I thought well that's interesting I have a camera I have some guns I I uh in fact my first video was that you know a lot of people at that time and still do were doing their EDC videos, you know, the, you know, if they carry a pocket knife, their telephone, their keys, you know, all the stuff they carry during the day to get them through, 
uh, and just in case there's something happens, you know, their EDC backpacks or get home bags or whatever those were. So my first couple videos were on EDC items. So that's how it all started. I can blame Hickok45 because he had some videos uh, out there about cowboy guns. And uh, I found them. And I started watching. And that's how it happened. So there we go. That's my collection of uh, 22s and my story on how I got started. Dino, you just keep doing the good work and your channel's going to keep growing. And everybody out there, be good. Be safe. God bless America. And we'll talk to you all later.